Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to talk about how Ripple XRP faces setback as SEC classifies expert evidence as summary XRP closes above $0.51. One, how Ripple XRP Ledger partners with Hashkey DX to enter the Japanese market. XRP hovers around key support. Crypto enthusiasts, before we dive more into today's topic, as you all know, make sure you do your own research before investing in any crypto project. Your support is important to me. Please like my video, comment, watch to the end, and share my video. Now, let's dive into the topic now. Ripple v. SSE, both parties have strong arguments on expert witness motion in XRP lawsuit. Lawyers reveal possible action by Judge Netburn. The SEC claims the Fox Declaration is a summary report and not an expert report. Lawyers believes believes both CC and Ripple has strong arguments, but Ripple late filing would be a question. XRP price rebound above $0.51, one still under pressure ahead for OMC. Ripple VCC News, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission filed its opposition to Ripple Labs' motion to strike the declaration of Andrea Fox, Fox Declaration and supporting exhibits. The SEC claims the Fox Declaration is a summary report and not an expert report on XRP institutional sales dispute. The CSC also claimed that the Fox Declaration is permissible summary evidence under law, similar to the Ferrante Declaration that was allowed by Judge Torres, and there's no violation of the federal rules of civil procedure. Lawyers on expert witness motion in Ripple v. SEC. Explaining the SEC's opposition to Ripple's motion, pro-XRP lawyer Bill Morgan said the SEC argues the Fox Declaration is summary, not expert evidence, and Ripple didn't dispute the summary of financial records. In addition, the SEC argues Fox did not give an opinion and stated what counsel told her to state on whether some institutional buyers suffered pecuniary harm as others received higher discounts. Morgan believes, regardless of outcome, the SEC's argument on pecuniary harm suffered by some institutional buyers is weak enough for disgorgement. I mean, imagine complaining you made profits from a contract with Ripple but didn't make as much profits as someone else he added. Fred Rispoli thought Ripple would win this discovery motion, uh, but still questions why Ripple waited this long to file it when they could have filed the motion to strike a head March briefing. He added that both Ripple and CC have case law over summary witnesses. Rispoli believes Judge Netburn may allow the Fox Declaration if Ripple never asked for the position. Former SEC securities lawyer Mark Fagel thinks the CC has the stronger argument, saying Ripple's motion is more misplaced than I had originally thought. He believes the court will order remedies far less than $2 billion, but didn't say if $10 million total fine is justified. Fagel predicts appeal from both sides, the SEC on XRP programmatic sales and Ripple on XRP institutional sales ruling about in the coming months in Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. The dispute will move to the Second Circuit next year. Former SEC lawyer James Farrell said it's the usual practice to have a non-attorney do summary charts that prevent privilege issues if other parties in this case, Ripple could have to pose. The fact that Ripple unsuccessfully filed the same motion before Judge Torres in the summary judgment briefing, but failed to bring that to Judge Netburn as attention here is a credibility killer, he added. XRP price rebounds slightly. XRP price jumped more than 1.4% in the last 24 hours here. With the price currently trading is $0.4931 one, the 24 hour low and higher $0.48.3.30.5037. Furthermore, trading volume has increased by 15% in the last 24 hours, uh, indicating a rise in interest among traders. The derivatives market recording huge fluctuations in the last 24 hours due to the Fed interest rate decision on May 1st. XRP futures open interest holds above 1 billion XRP but traders are taking profits again after the recent rebound in open interests. Here, Ripple announced its partnership with Tokyo-based Hashkey DX to bring XRP Ledger to Japan. XRP holders digest the news of Ripple's foray into Japan. And CC response from April 29th. XRP hovers around key support at $0.50 on Wednesday. Ripple XRP sustained above $0.50 key support level on Wednesday. XRP price is down nearly 6% in the past 10 days. The altcoin is in a confirmed downward trend and wiped out all gains since February. XRP holders are currently digesting the Securities and Exchange Commission response filing to Ripple's motion to strike expert testimony. Ripple announced its partnership with Hashkey DX, a Tokyo-based consulting company, 
to bring XRP Ledger to the Japanese market. Daily Digest Market Movers Ripple forays into Japan. XRP Ledger enters the market with partnership. Ripple announced a partnership with Tokyo-based specialized consulting company Hashkey DX on April 30th. The firm introduced the XRP Ledger-powered enterprise solutions to the Japanese market. The Hashkey Group has over 4,000 registered companies, 23 banks, and 4,300 suppliers for its blockchain-powered supply chain finance solutions. XRP Ledger's enterprise solutions will be offered to Japanese clients through the collaboration between Ripple and SBI Ripple Asia. The blockchain solutions will be built on the Ledger, and Japan's SBI Group companies will be the first corporation to utilize supply chain finance in the market. XRP holders are currently digesting the SEC response to the legal battle between the cross-border payment remittance firm and the regulator. Let's talk about the technical analysis of XRP. Hovers around $0.50. Decline. Guys, this information should not be considered financial advice. I encourage you to do thorough research before making any investment decisions. Guys, I want you to know, I will never tell you to contact me via WhatsApp. Thanks for watching my video. Keep supporting my channel. See you in my next video.